Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and we are looking at order of operations today. First off, I'm going to tell you what we are going to be looking at. We're going to talk about why we need the order of operations. Then we're going to talk about what they are and a better way to think of them than what you might have thought of before, and we're going to do some practice questions. Let's get into it. First off, the why behind it. I'm going to show you the same question twice here and pretend that we were going to solve it in two different ways. In my first example, I'm just going to do everything starting at the left, moving to the right. 8 plus 2 is 10, and then I'm going to multiply 10 times 3, which gives me 30. On the example over there on the right, I'm going to multiply first. 2 times 3 gives me 6, and now I'm going to add 8 plus 6, which gives me 14. You notice it's the same exact question, but you get two different answers. So if I was doing it one way in one country and someone else in a foreign country was doing it a different way, and we looked at each other and we both thought we were doing it the right way and the other person thought they were doing it the wrong way, you'd understand that it, there would be a problem communicating back and forth. Well, that's exactly what's going on. Only it's maybe not country to country. It could even be person to person. So we want to make sure that we have a solid order that everyone follows. And this is the order, the order of operations. The first step is that you take care of things within the grouping symbols. Grouping symbols can include braces, brackets, and parentheses. Often we call this step parentheses, but it includes much more than that. It's all grouping symbols. Also, fraction bars fall under this. If there's something on the top of a fraction and on the bottom of a fraction, you simplify all of that before you do the division. The second step is exponents. Then you do your division and multiplication in one step from left to right. Then you do your subtraction and addition in one step from left to right. In the past, you may have heard this phrase, PEMDAS, or please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. I want to encourage you to never think about it that way again. If you are going to list those letters, list them separated like this. P for parentheses or grouping symbols, then E for exponents, then multiplication division together, then addition subtraction together. Or the way that I write it, I put parentheses around that multiplication, division, and addition, subtraction to try and help you realize that that is one step. So parentheses or grouping symbols is one step, exponents is one step, multiplication, division is one step, addition, subtraction is one step. When I grew up in Canada, we used to call it bed mass brackets, exponents, division, multiplication, addition, subtraction. And you might see that, that that you might think, oh, that's changing the order of the division and the multiplication. But as you come to understand this, I think you'll find that the order of the multiplication division doesn't matter as long as that's one step. The same with the addition subtraction. You could switch that letter A and letter S and it wouldn't matter. And I'll show you why as we go through this lesson. In this example, I'm going to start putting some numbers in. Instead of just having these letters, let's look at numbers. When I'm looking at an expression like this and I'm trying to solve it, I will look through the order of operations. So are there any grouping symbols, any parentheses? No. Are there any exponents? No, there's not. Is there any multiplication or division? Yes, there is. So I'm going to start at the left and go to the right doing all of the multiplication or division in the order they appear from left to right. Notice I have a 10 divided by two. That will be the first step that I do. Now I've taken care of all the multiplication and division. Next, I will move on to all of the addition or subtraction. In this case, I have 5 plus 3. That's the only addition or subtraction I have. In this case, I went from left to right, but I followed the order of operations. I want to show you another question that's very similar to this. 3 plus 
10 divided by 2. With this one, I will do the division first. 10 divided by 2 is 5. And then I will do the addition. 3 plus 5 gives me 8. Notice I got the same answer. Because in both cases, I did that division, 10 divided by 2, first, and then I added on the 3. That is correct with the order of operations. Look at this final question. I want you to try and give that one a, a shot. Go ahead and try that out. You can pause the recording and try that out. What's the first step that you did? Did you add 5 plus 3 or did you do 3 times 2? The 5 plus 3 is addition and the 3 times 2 is multiplication. We do multiplication before we do addition. So we should have done 3 times 2 which gives us 6 and then we add 5 plus 6 to get our final answer. Now we're going to look at which one of these questions is solved correctly. You'll notice that this is our question from the beginning. We did this early on. I want you to try and figure out which one of these is correct. Following the correct order of operations. Pause the video and try it out. When you looked at this, were you able to determine that the one on the left, the, the question written in red, is incorrect? Notice with that example we did the addition 8 plus 2 before we did the multiplication. You can't do that. The order of operations specifically says you do your multiplication division first, then your addition subtraction. Also, I don't know if you noticed, but I switched the order of the letters. Parentheses, exponent up top, I switched it to division multiplication, addition sub or subtraction addition. And that doesn't matter. The the division, multiplication, addition, subtraction, those are one step each. So it doesn't matter which, which order we write them. Here we go again. Division, multiplication, and subtraction, addition. I want to spend a little bit more time with this because this is the area where most students will make mistakes when they're first learning the order of operations. Let's take a look. When I have 5 plus 2 minus 1, this only has addition and subtraction. If it only has addition and subtraction left, then we just go from left to right in whatever order it appears because it's only addition and subtraction. Let's do it. 5 plus 2 is 7. 7 minus 1 is 6. Perfect. That's fine. Where people tend to make mistakes on this is when you get a question like this, 5 minus 2 plus 10. If you're used to saying, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, or writing that out, some people will do the addition before the subtraction, and that's the most common error. We have to realize that addition and subtraction are one step, and it doesn't matter if we write the Aunt before the Sally in our please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, we would do this from left to right as well. So the correct order for this is 5 minus 2, which gives us 3, and 3 plus 1, which is 4. And the same holds true for this last question. Notice I put the division before the multiplication, and that is fine. If it is just division and multiplication, you go from left to right. 12 divided by 3 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. Again, this is the most complicated step. So what I'm going to do on the next slide is actually have you explain it to me, which makes it really difficult since I can't actually hear your words. But I'd like you to try and explain the multiplication, division, or subtraction, addition in your own words. Try and think about it and say it out loud or write it down and, and try and describe that step. You might have said you multiply and divide from left to right. That's correct. It doesn't matter if it's division first or multiplication first. You do whatever you come to, starting at the left, going to the right. You might have also said you add and subtract in the order they appear from left to right. That would be another way to say it. That's absolutely correct. Now let's talk briefly about grouping symbols.
with our order of operations, we could have a question like this, 9 minus 3 plus 1. We know that you do subtraction and addition in the order it appears from left to right. So we would do 9 minus 3, which is 6, and 6 plus 1, which is 7. Perfect. If I wanted you to do the adding first, I would add in a grouping symbol. See that? 3 plus 1. Now, because it's inside of a grouping symbol, we do that step first, and then we do the subtraction. With this one, I would have 3 plus 1, which is 4, and then I would do the subtraction. 9 minus 4 is 5. And that's the way we do it. I have a question for you. With this problem, what is the first thing that I would do? Would I add 7 plus 4? Or would I subtract 4 minus 2? What's the first step? The first step is 4 minus 2 because that's what's inside of the grouping symbol. That's important that we recognize what comes first. Now we're going to do an activity where we look at a pretty complicated expression and we try and figure out what comes first. Here is our expression. This may look extremely complicated, and it is kind of, but we are going to try and simplify it down. For me personally, what I do when I see a, a long expression like this is I look at the grouping symbols. Those square brackets tell me that I have to do what's inside of them first. So I am going to go ahead and just cover up this part over here that I'm not doing right away. Now I can look at this expression and it's a little bit less complicated. It's 2 times 5 plus the quantity of 1 plus 2. Everything inside of those grouping symbols gets done, but we can also see that there are some parentheses inside the brackets. So let's block out what's not inside the parentheses and that's what I'm doing first. I'm doing the 1 plus 2 first inside of this expression because that is the grouping symbols inside of the grouping symbols. Let's look at one more question and try and figure out what we would do first. There's no grouping symbols on this one. It's just a matter of straight multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. What is the first step inside of that? I know I do my multiplication division before I do my addition subtraction, so I'm not going to do 8 minus 2 or 2 plus 14. I'm going to either do 14 divided by 2 or I'm going to do 2 times 4. Well, starting at the left, moving to the right, the first one I come to is 14 divided by 2. That will be my first step. Let's move on to another question type, and this one here we're asking, what am I going to do last? This is the opposite of what we were just looking at, but we're going to use the same question to try and figure that out. We know the first thing that we do is the grouping symbol inside of the grouping symbol. We also know that we have to simplify this whole thing here before we can move on to the 20 minus whatever that ends up being. So I don't need to figure out any of that for me to be able to answer the last thing I'm doing is subtraction. I'm doing 20 minus whatever that is. So if you're asked what is the last step, you're not being asked what the final answer is, for this type of question, it's going to be pretty straightforward. What's the final step? It's subtraction. Okay, And I know that this is a little bit complicated since we haven't done a lot of solving this type of expression, but we want to get used to looking at it and just kind of grouping it into what are we doing next. This other question we looked at before, we remember what we did first was 14 divided by 2. After we get an answer for that, we're going to multiply that times 4 because we do multiplying and dividing before we do that addition and subtraction. So all of that, that whole thing I've got inside of that 
um, black rectangle there, that's going to give us a number. So we have 8 minus 2 and 2 plus whatever that number is. Well, we start at the left and move to the right, so we're going to do 8 minus 2 first. That means the very last thing we're doing is adding whatever 8 minus 2 is plus whatever that whole thing over there at the end is, 14 divided by 2 times 4. We're adding. So again, when we're looking at what is the, first, the last step, we're just looking at which operation it is, and we just want you to be able to look at these and start grouping together the pieces that we're going to, in future lessons pretty soon, start solving. Couple things to remember. Try and separate that um, P-E-M-D-A-S. I like to use parentheses to separate them because it helps me understand that I do those in one single step, the multiplication division, and then I do all of the addition subtraction. Try and focus on what comes first and block out the rest if you need to. If that's a helpful tool for you, definitely do it. I hope that that video was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.